When Jesus gave the instruction for his people to fast and pray, he knew what he was doing for our benefit. He knows us. He knows the influences of our culture, our continual temptations in life. Fasting and prayer are keys to help us overcome what holds us back, and he knows that. None of us would choose to do that on our own. Discipline and self-control are part of the fruit of the Spirit that Jesus paid for on the cross. We don't have any area in our life that has to lead us down a path that steals God's best for us. We're free to use self-control and discipline. And Jesus paid the price for that. God is designed for everything. I've never been more convinced of that. When my grandchildren come to me with a question about something, I try to always lead them back to the Word and say, okay, what has God revealed in His Word about that issue? He has design. If it doesn't align with God's design, He can't bless it and He won't bless it. God's favor and His blessing are supernatural. God has convinced me of that throughout my life. So many times I was in positions where I knew in the natural I was completely unqualified. And he opened the door for me, supernaturally. Over and over he's done that for me. When God's instruction for fathers and grandfathers to speak blessings, even from history in the Bible, it had a reason behind it. Blessing has power behind it, supernatural ability. And I, we just so encourage you all to continue in growing as a result of fasting and prayer. God is transforming us. He's changing us. They are keys to that transformation. Let's submit to it and not, and not fight against it. I don't believe there's anything that God uses more to reveal His glory than His people, than mankind. Jesus said in John 17, he said, I have given them your glory. He said that to the Father. And I really believe that God has deposited in every single human being a unique part of their story that will reveal something about God. I can't imagine anything that should make us feel more valuable than that. No one else on earth has your story to live out or to tell. And it has divine, holy, eternal purpose that is meant to affect generations to come. So keep going. Okay, this is day 20 of the prayer and fasting. So you've come a long way, but now I want to encourage you. We want to strengthen our, our spiritual discipline and, and stay true to, to this. And it's not just 21 days of prayer and fasting. We should continue to pray and fast often throughout the year. So um, what I want to encourage you to do is go deeper and go higher with God. And really what I call it is spiritual citizenship. I think we need to be good spiritual citizens in taking care of, of the needs of the people that we're dealing with. So there are several verses, uh, Proverbs 3, 5 through 6, trust in the Lord with all your heart, lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him, and He will direct your paths. That's a powerful promise. And so I, I just, we just need to close with that. But let's pray. Let's pray about these needs. So Father, we pray for a higher level of expectation for seeing signs, wonders, and miracles in our lives and in our church. Father, you are the God of miracle. You said we could do far greater things even than Jesus did. That is an awesome uh, promise. And so God, I pray we're going to appropriate that. We want to believe that God has given us the desires of our heart, but not that we're trying to make our desires come to pass, but that he's given them to us. So he plants them in us, I believe. I believe that's what that verse means, that God has planted desires in you that are yeah. godly desires. And those are the ones that can succeed. And the last thing I want to say as we pray is, um, We've got to change our thinking. I used to use communion, or used to see communion as a ritual. I now see it a whole lot differently because we've been doing communion a lot. 
um, just Bev and I in our morning prayers. And I see communion as a much deeper thing today than I did ever before. And I also want this prayer and fasting to not be just uh, a ritual in your life, but a, but a spiritual walk where you will pray daily with your spouse, if you have a spouse, or with one of your good friends. Men get together with men, women with women. We have a prayer group where a lot of people gather to pray. So we just pray, God, that, that this prayer and fasting will become a more lifestyle um, uh, application <clears throat> than just a ritual. So God, we thank you for all you're doing. I just pray for everyone that's listening, that they will take in what you're saying through us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. amen.